Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a the first half of a fresh case of 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. This is break 21. The second half of the case is already in the store. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Remember, we combo the Orioles and Cubs, and we combo the Cardinals and the Nationals. Let's randomize each list uh, seven times, two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got Barry down to Mike Kuntz. And two and a five, seven times again for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Rockies all the way down to the White Sox. Let's expand the font a little bit so you can read that on your screen. It's a little bit better, right? Barry with the Rockies. Joe Johns with the Rays and the Padres. Those are two great teams in this year. Uh, Kyle. Kyle P. with the Tigers. Jake with the Angels. D-Mac with the Pirates. Rich with the Red Sox. Colin with the Astros. Jeff, you got the Orioles-Cubs combo. Jason Cox with the Marlins. Kyle B. with the Phillies. Jordan Hope with your Mariners. Look at that. Karen with the Yankees. Barry with the Twins. Mark. That's a good one, too. Mark with the Mets. Manuel with the Royals. Josh Proust with the Blue Jays. Todd B. with the Reds, Nino with the Braves, Chad, you got the Giants, Rich with the Dodgers, so Oppo Joe Mojo and Dodger Joe Mojo right next to each other, Nino with the Indians, TJ with the Texas Rangers, Jordan with your last spot Mojo, A's, Mike Tower with the Diamondbacks, Mike Coots with the Cardinals-Nationals combo, Lampros with the Brew Crew, and Mike Coots with the Chicago White Sox. Southsiders, let's alphabetize by team, and let's do this. TJ was mentioning off camera that he always seems to get randomized the Giants. He's been in this in like eight of these breaks, only one auto. So we got to turn that ship around for TJ. Who do the Rangers have? <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like I've not seen a lot of Rangers autographs. Maybe today is the day. While people are considering trades, uh, let's pop open this fresh case and let's see which half of the case we're going to do. TJ would trade uh, Rangers for A's. So I think Jordan Hope has the A's, if that does anything for you, Jordan. All right, so we're going to take one die, one, two, three for the top row, four, five, six for the bottom row. TJ is guessing four on this. I'll take one of the fours right here. Let's see what happens. Uh, half of four, it's two. Top row, one, two, is the break we're going to do. This is for, I'll mark this RT. This will be for the next random team break, which is already in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So this is the break we are going to do. These are the boxes for next time. So if you want to do this, I'm sure we can run another one of these back tonight. Speaking of Bowman, Bowman's Best coming out tomorrow. You can pre-order Bowman's Best Baseball right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Drops tomorrow. That should be a lot of fun. All right. So it doesn't look like, I don't know if Jordan maybe stepped away for a second, TJ, or something like that, but we may have to just go. Like I said, the second half of the case is in the store. So this is break 21, so 22, second half of the case. Um, while people are, let me pull up a couple of resources here that may be helpful for everybody as we go through this, uh, as we go through this break. Yeah, TJ says, let's just go. That's fine, we can do that. Thank you, TJ. Um, there's the draft, 2017 MLB draft. This is what we want to do. So obviously, I think the only top draft pick that's not in this set is Hunter Green, the second overall. But I think most of these guys in the top 15 or whatever are in here. Most of these first rounders are in here. And some in the compensatory and uh, competitive balance rounds and some, some in the later rounds too. All right, so keep that window open as will I. 
TWC means trade window closed in the chat. I'll also pull up one of my favorite websites, MLBTradeRumors.com. A little coffee. And let's do this break. So that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. So random team 21, four boxes, it's half a case. Good luck, everybody. <coughs> So this break will take a minute or two. It takes about 35 minutes or so. A lot of lot of big hit potential in here, especially if you get any of the uh, any of the parallels. Basically, if you get any color, if you color out on any of these autos or parallels, it's usually a good sign. All right. So any big news in baseball going on, or what rumors have you been hearing? Talk to me about some baseball rumors. I see from MLBTradeRumors.com, they're not our sponsors, but I wish they were, uh, Astros Rangers reportedly set to meet with you, Darvish. So some of the big free agents have not been signed yet. Where does you, Darvish, go? Dodgers still keeping tabs on you, Darvish. So it seems like a lot of teams are meeting up with him. I guess there's a question of who could use you, Darvish, the most and who's actually going to pay you, Darvish. Right? The same with Jake Arrieta as well. Who could use Jake Arrieta the most? Who will actually pay for Jake Arrieta? A lot of teams that need starting pitching. And a lot of teams that could use playoff caliber pitching like a Jake Arrieta. Brewers. Brewers could use a, uh, a starting pitcher. They got Giovanni Gallardo, but he's, he's a... Nowadays, he's a back of the rotation guy, a solid back of the rotation guy, but not exactly a frontline starter. But Brewers, could you start a pitch? They had a surprising run last year, pretty close to getting to the playoffs. Twins, Twins could use some frontline starting pitching. Uh, no, Wolf, uh, Optic Football Bowen's Best comes out tomorrow. Manana. All right. Remember, paper doesn't ship. So keep that in mind. So we'll breeze through the paper. And we'll save the chrome, of course. And more paper. Cardinals will sign Darvish as Michael House. That would be interesting. Cardinals could use a, could use a Darvish. Cardinals could you could use home runs, possibly interested in Donaldson. For the tribe, there's Yu Chen Chang. For the Indians, two eleven out of two fifty Indians. That is, I think he's a pretty high prospect in the uh, Indian system. Nino with the tribe. Yeah, Yelich. I did hear about that. I did hear that he was pissed, but I did not hear the second part, TJ, but wants to give the Marlins a chance before asking for a trade. I see. So he's not outright demanding a trade just yet, Christian Yelich. The Marlins are really doing one of their almost pre- uh, or post-world season victory kind of teardowns. We'll see how this one goes with new ownership. Uh, Quinn Brody for the Metropolitans. Mark with the Mets. Purple Chrome, 46 out of 250. Their third round pick. Donaldson to the Cardinals. Yeah, so, so there are teams that need home runs too. The Red Sox in dire need of home run power. J.D. Martinez maybe. We've got, there's Ronald Acuna, Purple Chrome. I mean, he's pretty much been given the starting job after uh, after Matt Kent was moved. 192 out of 250, so this might be a big name. This might be a big name in the hobby next year for the Braves. Nino with that one. Nice one, Nino. Giants need home runs. Cardinals need home run power. So we'll, 
We'll see a lot of free agents still out there too. Angel Perdomo, 386 out of 499 for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Josh Pruce. Uh, Steve Stone, we break from 3 p.m. Pacific to 11 p.m. Pacific. Usually it's Tuesday through Saturday, but uh, we have a slightly different holiday schedule. I've been breaking Monday through Friday for the holidays. But I think this week is our last Monday through Friday. By next week, I'll be back to my normal Tuesday through Saturday schedule. 113 out of 150, Morgan Cooper, blue, for the Dodgers. Nice. Rich with little Dodger Joe Mojo. But yeah, but 3 p.m. Pacific to 11 p.m. Pacific are our breaking hours. That's the hours of the show. If you like talking sports, if you like the hobby, you'll probably like hanging out here. Blake Rutherford, 69, 89 out of 99 for the Shy Sox. That'll be for Mike Koontz, screen paper. More paper. A red auto of Royce Lewis. That'll make uh, that'll make Barry very happy. What would that be? That'd be like a thousand dollar card or something like that. Uh, yes, I think Indiana is what you guys are on East Coast time, right? ET. Then yeah, it would be six p.m. Uh, Eastern to two a.m. Eastern. Quentin Holmes for the Tribe. Indians, that'll be for Nino. Nice one, Nino. Yeah, sometimes we'll go uh, we'll go later too if we're filling up breaks. <laughs> and that Royce Lewis red, yeah, thousand dollars if not more, right? That'd be crazy. First round, first overall pick. I don't know why this Morgan Cooper was this way. Mitch Keller is your paper parallel out of four ninety nine. You're welcome, Nino. For the Buckos, that goes to D Mac. Paper doesn't ship, so we're just kind of breezing through these. Obviously, the numbered paper cards will ship. For the Rangers, Matthew Watley. This is Derek's brother. 141 out of 399. I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Matthew Watley uh, goes to the Texas Rangers. That'll be for TJ. 141 out of 399. There you go, TJ. A little something. Should be expecting one more autograph, right? It's got to be in here somewhere. There it is. Drew Waters. Drew Still Waters Run Deep. Nino with the Braves. All right, your 41st overall pick. It's a high, high second round pick. Nice one for the Braves. You know who might be an interesting player in the big free agent market next year with like Machado and Bryce Harper? I think the Braves. They've got a brand new ballpark, right? They've got a good young core of players coming up. They were a little embarrassed organizationally, you know, by with all that international signing stuff, right? Bonus pool, you know, infractions and whatnot. So they're a little embarrassed organizationally. They can't spend money on like international players for like an X amount of years, right? So I could see them trying to go big on like Bryce Harper or Manny Machado. Like just straight up signing them in free agency. Yeah, you got Freddie Freeman and Machado or, uh, or Harper in that lineup. 
You know, then you add whatever all these all the young farm system, all the young guys that are coming up the ranks. So I think I think I think the Braves would do it. Cause believe it, I mean the Braves are not a small market team by by any means. They're they're you know, they're the only show in town pretty much in that in that region. And with a new ballpark. Got to put butts in seats, right? So I can see them doing that. I can see them making a big splash in the free agent market in the next two years, you know, as, as their young players start coming up the ranks. Same with the Phillies. The Phillies aren't afraid to spend money either. All right, next box. Got some paper here. It's Mitch Keller Chrome. Breeze through this paper. And Blaine Enlo is your autograph for the twins. That goes to Barry. Barry. Twins need pitching. Maybe they'll go dip into the free agent market for that. Get some frontline pitching for the Twins. I think they're young pitchers. There's Cade McClure. I don't think any relation to Troy McClure. Cade McClure for the White Sox. That'll go to Mike Coons. See what the twins do though. Twins, I think, have like Trevor May, but I think Trevor May, where their younger pitching prospects are still still a few years out. Not quite ready to make a big contribution. So we'll see. Yeah, wrong twin. Well, unless Blaine Enlow's listening. He'd be the right twin. Hi, Blaine. Francisco Rios, 282 out of 399. Uh, that goes to the Blue Jays, Josh Pruce. With the sky blue refractor. Remember the Sky Dome? I always thought that was a cool name for a baseball stadium. The sky Dome. It's like, wow, where are you going? All oh, in the Sky Dome. Where is it? In the sky. The Boz, Shane Boz, green chrome autograph for the Pirates. D Mac with the Boz. 10 out of 99. 12th overall pick. That is strong. Three autographs already? I feel like there could be a bonus autograph in here, folks. Some of these boxes, we're generally seeing one per case, have a, have a box with a bonus auto in here. So this could be ripe for a bonus auto. Still have so many cards left. Alec Hansen. 50 out of 499. That goes to the White Sox. That'll be for Mike Coons. More paper. And he was like, yeah, I know. I did not like it when they changed the name. No, I wouldn't like it either. Wait, do they still play there? Or did they get it? I don't think the Blue Jays got a, got a new stadium anytime recently, right? Or unless I'm blanking on that. Do they still play in the same place? What's it called now? Jake Berger. Mm, burgers. For the White Sox, Mike Koontz. 28 out of 150, your 11th overall pick. Same stadium, Rogers Center. What's, what's, uh, what's Rogers? No, I feel like I looked this up. Rogers is like some telecommunications company, right? Or a cable TV company or something like that? Phone company? Yeah, 
And we've got some gold paper. Jemai Jones. 45 out of 50. A telecom company, right? Famous even. Famous in Canada, maybe. You know. I don't know if we... Do we have Rogers here in the United States? Definitely not on the West Coast. Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. 55 out of 399. White Sox. That goes to Mike Koontz. Ah, oh, there it is. Bonus auto. Nick Prado. That goes to the Royals, Manuel. Nice, 14th overall pick, that's a good one. See, that, that had all the makings of a bonus auto box. And we got some Pirates, Connor Uselton, 39 out of 99. Green Chrome for the Pirates. That goes to DMAC. DMAC racking up the parallels for the Pirates. Pirates parallels. Some Chrome, some paper. It's that for that box. Halfway through the break. I got bonus auto too, which is always nice. All right, next box, good luck. The next half of the case in the store right now, so we can definitely do that, do another half. These are always fun to do, always a good excuse to kind of have a long conversation about baseball and whatnot. Nino, have they been talking about a new stadium for the Blue Jays? Is that is that on the cards or not? Or in the cards or not, or on the table or not? What other, what other teams could use a new stadium? Tampa Bay Rays, they could use a new stadium. I feel like, sir, I don't know how many Tampa Bay Rays fans we have here, but I know we had some recently who were saying that the, that the Tampa Bay Rays, their stadium is located in an awkward area that's kind of hard to get to from what I hear, something, something like that. And that any new stadium plan would be in a more accessible area. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. Pe people people are, are concerned whether that the Rays can even make it in a, in baseball or not. In that market, that is. Dean, you'll say, no, I've not heard that they're trying to build a new. Did they do renovations? To, I feel like they did like some major renovations to it recently. Something like that. What other cities could use a new stadium? Uh, Christian Pash, 58 out of 399. We got Riley Mahan for the Marlins. That'll go to Jason Cox. Well, with the way the Marlins are clearing out players, you might see guys like Riley Mahan in the majors sooner than you think.
a lot of paper that will breeze through. Nick Gordon, that's D. Gordon's brother. 351 out of 399 for the Twinkies, twins. That'll go to Barry. D. Gordon, of course, um, going to the Mariners. Got traded to the Mariners. D. Gordon. Going to play center field, too. So Nino's saying renovations, but that's about it. And you wouldn't know like where they would put a new stadium if they if they even tried to. Brendan Rogers, two sixty seven out of four ninety nine. We should start seeing him in action too, maybe. Slowly but surely for the Rockies. All right, we got Joey Morgan, 156 out of 200 for the Tigers. That'll go to Kyle, Kyle P. There's Kevin Maiton, just paper. You know, Nate, if everybody waited for a spot to get closer, it would never get closer. So maybe everyone's waiting. Then it would never fill, no matter how hard you try. Quentin Holmes, Indians. That's why we always ask people, hey, just buy spots. More people will take you seriously if you just say buy spots. There you go, Vikings. 140 out of 499. Indians, that'll go to Nino. Nino with a couple autographs in this break with the Indians. Exactly, TJ. At least Boston Graphs, he's got spots. In Chronicles, so, so you know, he's just trying to push it because he's got money locked up in it. <laughs> Jason Cox wants to do, uh, wants to do, I'm sure we'll do some of that prism. Well, I thought that was going to be a gold autograph. It's not, it's just Regular gold parallel. Five out of 50, Juan Soto for the Nationals-Cardinals combo, Mike Koontz. Hey, we've got time for everything, folks. Chronicles, Prison Basketball, Topps Tech Baseball, another half-case break of Bowman Draft. We've got plenty of time for everything. So I would just suggest to everybody, just start buying into all that, and it'll go. And if not, I'm back tomorrow. We'll do it again. 117 out of 150, blue paper, Astros. That'll go to Colin. Yeah, I know some guys are in Prism... Uh, Pick your team 13, Prism Basketball. That's almost a single digits. We have a number of breaks close to single digits. Hey, Coop, Morgan Cooper. For my Dodgers, that'll go to Rich. And the boys in blue. All right, last box. Three more autographs to go. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Cooper does have, Morton Cooper does have a nice autograph. Hopefully he becomes a superstar. Because then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to see more of that. All right, so this break will be done in about another 10 minutes or so. So once we're done with this, then we're going to have to figure out what we're going to break after that. Remember, we break until 11 o'clock Pacific. So by the time I'm done with this break and kind of put this break away, we'll be at the top of the hour. We'll have about four hours left in the broadcast. Plenty of time to do Chronicles Baseball. Unless it doesn't fill, but we can do it, I'm sure. Not that far away. 
only 15 bucks a spot. We can do the other half of this Bowman draft. That'll be 20 bucks a spot. That'll be good. We can do more 10 bug breaks. 10bugbreaks.com. Certified cuts available. Five star baseball available on 10bugbreaks.com where every spot is 10 bucks. We can do prism basketball. Prism Basketball, we've uh, we've got down close to single digits. And one of the random team breaks for Prism Basketball, I took 10% off. Tonight only. We are finishing off some Bowman Draft Baseball. This is break 21. First half of Fresh Case, the second half in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Franklin Colome, or Colome, or Colome. I actually think it's Colome. 138 out of 250, purple paper for the Phillies. Kyle with that one. Nick Gordon. Nick Gordon again, this time the 70th anniversary parallel. That's a 200. That's for the Twins. That goes to Barry. And we've got Blue Wave, Blake Hunt. Blue Wave autograph for the Padres. 31 out of 150. Friars. That goes to Joseph Johns. I don't think Nick Gordon has... Uh, has he made his debut yet? I feel like he has come up for a cup of coffee, right? But I don't think he's... I don't think he's making regular starts at the moment. All right. Forrest Whitley. What's up, Gabriel? What's going on, man? 291 out of 499. We've got Gliber Torres flipped around for some reason. Not sure what that means. But I'll sleeve it up anyway. Uh, Wolf saying no, he is not. Not even a cup of coffee yet. Is he when's, he, when's he supposed to come up? Soon? Zach Curtley for the Redbirds. Should be soon, says Wolf. Zach Hurley for the Cardinals Nationals combo. That goes to Mike Koontz. We got Kevin Maiton. Nice. Who's on the Angels now, but this will still go to the Braves. Nino with that one. 87 at 250. Wolf saying that if I had to guess this upcoming season, but they have a lot of infielders. So not sure when he's going to be able to make his way into the lineup. Well, the Twins do have a good young team. They looked good last year. We've got Will Crow for the Nationals, 94 out of 150. And Adam Hazley, refractor autograph for the Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies, Kyle with the Phillies. That might be the last autograph out of 499. Their eighth overall pick, so that's a pretty strong one. 
but could there be a bonus autograph? Sometimes when there is a blue wave autograph, there could be a bonus autograph, but we already saw the box with the bonus auto, so I don't know. Now I'm all turned around. I'm all twisted. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, there's two of these. And one is numbered. Clark Schmidt. I knew there was something different there. 201 out of 250, Clark Schmidt. Bowman defining moments insert for the Yankees. That'll go to Karen Steele. So Karen with a little something at the end. And let's see what else we have. We got Cole Reagans. 43 out of 399 for the Rangers. That'll go to TJ. I need to find you some more autographs, TJ. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the end. That was another solid break of uh, Bowman Draft 21 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So thanks very much, everyone. The second half is in the store. 20 bucks a spot. That's it. That's it. So it'll be a lot of fun. So thanks very much, everyone. Check it out on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time.